guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Simply Stuff. That's me. If you are new, allow me to say welcome. Hello. And if you are returning, thank you a little extra for coming back. So in this little video it is not my main video going up tonight, but it is a very important one. So I would implore you to please keep on watching. Hey guys, please remember to subscribe if you have not, rate the video thumbs up, and turn on your bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. Thanks. Okay guys, so I am very quickly hopping on here. As you can see, I don't have my lighting set up. Um, I, there's like a little bit of natural lighting, which we have had nothing but five days of rain here. And first of all, I just want to start this video off by saying hello. My name is Stephanie, if you're new. And um, yeah, it's a beauty channel. Normally I come on here talking about some kind of makeup, you know, cosmetics, skincare, hair care, all that good stuff. Or I'll, you know, do a look or I'll have a box in front of me. We do a lot of subscription unboxings. And this is a little bit of a different video. This is an update video, okay? And I need to let you know what's going on because, yeah, there's going to be some major changes that I can't avoid, nor can I help. And I'm kind of stuck. And I'm going to let you know what's going on. Normally, like I said, this is not one of my, you know, typical style videos. I usually come on here with some makeup on, although today has been a day, <laughs> as has the last five days. I do want to say, if you could please hit the button down below um, and become part of this family, it really is a family, um, that would warm my heart and it would make me so very happy. We are striving to get to 1.5K. Um, which I have a big giveaway uh, set to go off when we reach those numbers. So we are on our way, and yes, we are climbing, climbing. I looked today. I haven't looked uh, in the last five days, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, but we are. We, we are at, like, the even mark, so I'm very happy. And it seems we're holding steady, and I just pray that we can stay there. So this is what's been happening, guys. Um, the last five days, I want to say, I want to say on the weekend... We started getting that rain now in the past i've dealt with a few like things where i live um some leaking and a little bit of flooding now and then when it rains super hard nothing crazy nothing like what's happened in the last five days i can assure you of that the plumber had been out two times previously once last year once the year before at first the my landlord tried to blame it on me saying that i clogged something up which i absolutely knew that wasn't true so when the plumber came out, he, he let the landlord know, hey, she didn't do anything wrong. There's something wrong we, it, with the pipes. So he, it seemed to stop. But what, was, what we didn't notice at the time is that it had just rained a whole lot. Well, when, by the time the plumber got out here, it had stopped raining. And so he snaked the pipe outside from the house to the street. And... Um, you know, no problems. Um, I, I went to how it started is I would flush the toilet and the water would come from the floor up. It wouldn't overflow the toilet. It would just come from the floor. And I mean, like, you know, at least an inch or two. And um, it was primarily in the bathroom. But then I started noticing the second year, any water anywhere in the home, upstairs, downstairs, what have you, it would come through that bathroom it started in the bathroom i want to say on sunday i was uh washing my dishes in the other part of the house and i, I came in here for some i forget what reason and i'm watching carly walk and there's footprints i have tile so i'm looking at these footprints like why are there wet footprints like what happened so i go where she was and it was the bathroom and yeah there was water again i'm like not again not this i'm not doing this again i called the landlord and i said listen i'm not paying the rent I'm withholding the rent. I have it right here. It's in it. I'm going to put it in escrow until you get a plumber out here to fix it. I'm not going through another season like this. It rained for five days straight. Okay. Needless to say, it got worse. The whole bottom of floor, aside from the two, I guess the house is on a slant, but I never noticed it. It's not like a, a, a very, no, it's not a noticeable slant, but I think because it is on a very slight slant, the two like the kitchen and the and the uh, living room it, they don't get wet and so i'm in the back of the house so all right 
I said, I'm not going through this. I'm not doing it. I'm withholding the rent. Well, he was here in five minutes. We have a pretty good relationship, but this thing that has just been coming back, and it seemed like to be every single year, but it wasn't constant. It was only once in a while, and I never knew when it was going to happen. And uh, Anyway, it's very unsanitary, first of all. I hate it. I mean, it doesn't stink. Not at first. Like, when it starts, it's just water. And then after, as time goes on, it gets, like, swampy water. And, ah, uh, so no, I can't handle that. Mm -mm, your girl cannot handle that. No. The day I said I'm withholding rent, he came. He said, listen, I'm going to have the plumber. It, it was towards the end of the day. He's like, I can't get anybody out here today. Can you just hang on till tomorrow? I'm like, what? I was like, whatever. I'm just telling you. I'm, and I'm dangling the money in my hand. Um, for the rent and I put it in an envelope and I wrote escrow on it and I showed him that and I said well This is where it's gonna stay until this gets you know straightened out and um, Lo and behold the next day the plumber comes and he does this ground Like I swear if y'all watch true crime and you know when they're looking unfortunately for bodies They use this like sonar that penetrates into the ground wall. I swear it looked just like that. And he said, yeah, it, it basically is. It sees through concrete. It sees through everything. He removed my toilet, which was the first time that, that, that they ever did that. And I was thinking, well, maybe the donut, the wax donut that sits underneath your toilet between the floor and the toilet. I could see that if it was just a little bit of water or like seepage maybe or something. But it wasn't that. It was just coming out like crazy. And then when I turn on the kitchen sink... It does it like okay there's definitely a problem anyway he stuffed a camera down in there and sure enough one of the pipes is completely sheared off and it is the main pipe it's the biggest pipe underneath the house and in order to get to it they have to dig through concrete flooring everything to dig under the house because there is no crawl space in this house okay which is very crazy but there is none and we don't have a basement either so it's the way the house is set up. They have to really go through the inside of the house to get to, you know, underneath. Well, that's what they have to do. And the landlord said, listen, we're going to fix it, but you can't be here. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you have to move everything out of the bottom floor, put it into that front room as far up as you can. And what can't fit, you know, we're going to have to get you a storage unit or something. And I'm like, where's all this, like... Uh, Listen, I don't have the money for any of this. He's like, no, no. He said, it, you know, this is going to have to be all on my dime. I don't know all of his properties. So I don't know. He said, we may be able to put you in like a different uh, apartment or a different house. We may very well have to put you in a hotel. And I'm thinking, oh, no. Uh, uh, what? I said, listen, my channel, you know, what are you talking about? Like, I need somewhere to film. I, I, I need space. I need somewhere to set up. I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very much worried about this. And, um... My stuff, thank God it's in those plastic bins because a lot of it, anything that touched the floor is in the bins and they're safe and nothing got wet, thank God. Um, and most of my stuff that I use is up, you know, on tables, of course, everything here. But the wiring and everything, I, I can't believe that nothing blew up. I, I, I mean, I, I guess it has that switch where it shuts itself off, thank God. My ring light would have probably blown up. So thank God that didn't happen. But anyway, that is where we are. <laughs> I have to deal with this over the weekend because there's nothing they can do right now. And it is today is Thursday. The plumbers were here yesterday and today. So they had a, a wet vac. I have one here. They left me. They left it here for me so that I could vacuum the water up continuously. Like the whole pipe is broken. Like you know, in the halfway mark, um, somewhere in the middle of this room right here. So this is the room initially that they're going to have to dig up, my beauty room. And um, because they have to do that, they have to put entire flooring down everywhere. So that means I have to take everything out of here, either put it upstairs or a storage unit somewhere. It has to, I'm not lugging it upstairs and lugging it back downstairs. I can't do that, not with my arm. It's not possible. So I, and I explained that to him. I said, listen, I have a torn rotator cuff. It's all I can do to mop, you know what I mean? It's just really crazy. So that is where we're at. I don't, next week, and today is Thursday, I believe the 6th that I'm filming this. And I'm hoping to just put it up tonight. Now, I have two boxes that I absolutely have to do. I have to do my Ipsy Open Studio. And guys, I did watch a few minutes here and there on my television when I was able to do that. I have now since moved the TV out of here. But um, I was able to watch a couple of unboxings. And, because it came yesterday, but... 
I mean, they're all different. So that's kind of cool. I mean, not 100% different, but there's a bunch of variations. So I'm happy about that. Now, I did take a peek at mine. And mine, that's how I know that mine isn't like a lot of others. And there's like different products. So that's cool. I think that's really good that Ipsy's doing that. That we all don't get the same thing, you know? So I'm going to maybe create a look with the stuff that's on there. Guys, I haven't had makeup on in five days. Like, this is me. I've been in old spotted up t-shirts and stained up t-shirts because I'm not really trying to like put any good clothes on because I'm sucking up mud water, you know, <laughs> with a with shop vac. I have another box that was sent to me that I need to get up that was sent to me for review. Um, also, I have a calendar here. It has showed up. Now, the way this calendar came about is amazing and it, in itself right there is a whole entire video. So, I definitely need to do the Ipsy. I definitely need to do the other box. If you've been not seen me before, this is not my normal. No way, no how. I mean, occasionally I will come on and do skincare, but yeah, I don't normally just hop on like this with this terrible lighting and all that. I try to do my best videos possible, but this update needed to be done and it needed to be set. So I also have two palettes that I'm giving away. I placed an order with It's Bell Cosmetics. Now they are down. Their site is down. I, last I checked, I haven't checked in five days i haven't done anything in five days guys i could be, it's all i could do to like you know answer you guys back in your comments and i haven't said anything because i wasn't i wasn't sure like what what was going to happen like i didn't know the outcome of this fiasco okay i own this palette this is the break the rules palette and i'm just going to show it to you very quickly because i have to get off of here and hopefully try and film something and i don't know how i'm going to do it with the lights because I'm constantly having to stop to vacuum up the water because it just keeps coming and just it's like uh, um, it starts this way and then it works its way up. So I'm I'm trying to catch it so that it doesn't get like to the other side of the room. So that's like almost constantly vacuuming. It's crazy. So if you've not seen this, this is what the cover looks like. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up there. The lighting is terrible. And I know there is a mirror there. You can see that. Now, here's the palette, guys. It's an all shimmer palette. It's a very pretty palette. I think it would be kind of nice for the holidays. You have this like reddish uh, green and then you have cr true Christmas green, which it's like a blue green. It has a shift on it. I mean, it's a very nice palette. It's very, very pretty. And I was able to pick one up before they shut down. They said they're opening back up. I don't know what's going on. You know, they're in Puerto Rico and I know Puerto Rico is going through it as well. You know, they just got that whole thing and then Florida too and it's surrounding areas so like i said please say a prayer for everyone that's suffering with that and i just hope that they can rebuild and get the help that they really really need you know i want to do the giveaway but i'm not necessarily going to have time to come on and do a complete look with this i maybe can throw some swatches up and then start the giveaway off so we're going to do this i want to have two this is one okay that i know for sure the other palette is from saints angel sinners when darcy's you know the owner of saint angel sinners when she sent me over the palettes that I had purchased from uh, for the for the 1500 giveaway um, she included a couple extras which you know she's such a sweetheart and I'm very excited because this is kind of like a companion a companion palette to the one that we're having in, kind of like it's along the same line so I just think it's very cute I think they kind of go together I don't know I want to come on here and do a look with this and I absolutely am going to so just know we are going to be giving away this palette <laughs> and this is the we'd be cute together palette see it we'd be cute. I mean just the whole aesthetics again is it kind of falls in line with the, you know, wake up, bake up, and makeup palette. So I thought that was very cute. So again, you have the um, bunnies, you know, very, very cute. It's a bit of a cool tone palette, okay? So, you know, for you cool tone lovers out there, you're going to like this. Now, I'm going to tell you, that green is amazing. It's, it's like you have the army green. You have a very pretty, pretty green. This blue is really, really pretty. It's almost like a silver blue. I do have my own, okay? I do have one of these, and I am going to do a giveaway, but I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do it. So just know that those are two giveaways that are coming before the 1500, okay? So I'm, I'm going to be popping them off very, very soon. I want to say within the next few days. Once I can get these boxes that, you know, are sent to me in PR, up and on the waves and you know try and utilize them as best i can um we will pop into these giveaways i may just do a really quick video with the it's bell cosmetics this one i want to really get in depth with and show you a look this is a new release for saints angel centers and i was very lucky to get it and i just 
great big thank you shout out to Darcy, okay? I know my next two videos are going to have to be the PR, okay? All right, so that is where we are. I mean, I don't know. If I am going to be at a hotel, it will be probably for three weeks to a month. You know, minimum is what I was told by the plumber. I don't know. I do know they better give me a kitchen because I'm not eating out every night. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm trying to eat more healthy and yeah, I need a kitchen. It's just that simple. And I told them that too. And plus it's expensive. Like really? No. My microwave is never used to cook with or to like to make food with. It's to reheat food that I've cooked, but it's never, I don't ever really cook like frozen dinners or that's just not how I eat. Um, and again, with the hair, I'm trying to eat more fresh stuff and I have a list from the hair doctor, which I do have that video. It is partially put together, but this happened. I was working on that because I was waiting for this to come. All I know is he has to put me up somewhere decent. It has to be pet friendly because Carly has to come with me and I need a, a kitchen. So, it, you know, I can't live without a kitchen. I'm not going to do the little tiny fridge thing with the microwave. That's not going to be me for a month. It's definitely not. I will not go for that. That is the one thing I'm adamant about. And it has to be clean and it has to be in a good part of town. And I told him that in no uncertain terms, I did ex express my concern with that. And he said, no, 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 no. I would believe his homeowner's insurance would be paying for this. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I have a winner with me Wednesday, which I am going to work on over the weekend. So that I'll have it ready for Wednesday, next Wednesday. Fingers crossed. And um, yeah, I mean, this is where I've been, guys. So the next video you will see will probably be the Ipsy Open Studio. I will hopefully look a lot better than I do right now. And then the other one that was sent to me from review, that's kind of a little bit of a surprise. I did not know it was coming and it showed up and I was like, wow, thank you. So yeah, so I'm going to do that. And then of course, I do want to sit down and do a full on makeup look with the Weed Be Cute palette together. I'm so excited. It's purples. Y'all know I love purple. I haven't done a purple look in quite a while. So that is what I have. That is what I'm going to be working on now. I'm going to be doing the best at utilizing my time. Okay. I mean, I, I, there's going to be a couple of days where I'm just going to be packing my stuff up, moving it. And then, of course, I'm going to have to decide what am I going to bring? What do I need? You know, back and forth. And then there's going to be a big gaping hole in my house. And I'm all freaking out like, oh, no, the mice are going to come in because that's another thing I'm phobic of. Yes, mice and bugs. Anyway, please let me know what is going on with you. How are you faring? What is happening in your neck of the woods? Are you down in Florida? And if you are, please let me know that you are safe. I know I have a few people that I have spoken to directly over on Instagram. If you need to talk to me, message me, please. Um, I have been trying to keep up my Instagram in between vacuuming and sucking up the water, you know, and I can't turn the water on. I did take a shower today. That was a whole fiasco mess, you know, second one in five days. I mean, it's crazy. Anyway, ew, right? anyway all right listen guys until the next one please remember if you're going through something like me talk about it share about it you know tackle it if you can do not try and stuff it because you know it's been my experience that it just blows up and it becomes a whole nightmare and um yeah with everything going on in this world oh my gosh editing stuff i guess because i lost my outro as i was putting the video all together getting ready to upload it, um, something happened to that last piece, which is, to me, one of the most important parts of my video. So I just want to say to everyone out there, to all my loved ones all across the globe, you know, people down in Florida, and I mean really everywhere, there is just so much really going on. It's just very, very scary. I just want to say, please be safe. Until the next one, see ya.